Hi everyone, this is Sybil. I am here. I'm having some coffee and I thought I would come on and share with you um, a couple of little hauls and they are little. They're pretty small, I think. And then also some happy mail and some things. I thought I'd share some things that I've been up to and oh, I'm about ready to sneeze. My allergies are going. It's really crazy windy today. And so anytime that happens, you know, my allergies just want to go on overdrive, you know, just crazy. But um, I finally finished organizing my clear stamps and I got them in the envelopes here and um, I purchased a lot of them, a lot of the envelopes from Simon Says Stamp and um, where's the other place? MFT, that's for the large, the tall ones over here that I'll show you in a moment. And then Tina Kappa gave me some, gave me, I think about 50 of them. So thank you so much, Tina. Now I don't have a ton of stamps and I went through, before I did this, I went through and um, sorted the stamps that I don't want to keep. So whether I'm going to de-stash them in the future or I'm going to give them away, because maybe they're gently used or not even used at all. Um, so I went through and sorted everything. Then I sorted them by manufacturer. And then I, you know, got my label maker out, my brother label maker, and which I should, where is that? I don't know if I put it back in the drawer. I was gonna give Tina the name of that, but I've got a, I've got, I just, see, that's how my brain works. It just went through my head that I need to share that with her. But um, I sorted my manufacturer that way when I was making my labels, you know, I could do all that company at one time and um, then cutting out all the paper. I don't take it to Office Depot or whatever. That's like 30 minutes away from where I live and um, I just don't feel like doing that. I, I don't have that many stamps that necessarily, you know, that makes it necessary is what I'm trying to say for me to do that. So I just cut them and if they have a matching die set, like a big die set like this, I put them in the back. Now I haven't cut these. Let me show you another one. Um, when I cut them, I usually put them right back in this, see that little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an envelope, the clear envelope. Why don't I just take it out so that way you can see what I'm talking about. The clear envelope, the dies come in. Once I snip them, then I just put the dies right back in that envelope and fold it up. And, um, and they're good to go like that. And that way, if I do want to de-stash any of these, I can do it as a set with the dies. And... Um, but like I said, most of these I went through, some of these are, these are some of my new ones from Sunny Studio Stamps. But most of these I went through and picked out the stamps that I really want to keep and really plan on using. And so I've got my Simon Says, you know, and I haven't fixed the plastic thing that sorts it by manufacturer or season or however I plan on doing that. Um, but it's really good that I got these done. And I didn't do the two, the, not the two, but the big thing that Jennifer McGuire uses. I just did these so that way they're not so heavy if I want to take it out and put it on my desk or anything. And then I did get the larger one. Um, and these are the MFT envelopes that I purchased because MFT stamps are really tall. And then so are Tim Holtz. So they don't fit in the regular um, envelopes from Simon Says Stamp, and so it's all to new. Their, their stamp sets are pretty big. Some of the fur stamp sets are big, and some of them are even bigger. I do have a few stamp sets that are really large um, from both, is it all to new and Verve, where they're like, you know, real big. So I will have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Um, so the next thing I plan on doing, I'm sorry, I'm setting these on the floor. The next thing I plan on doing is organizing my dies and going through all my dies 
and I did a de stash in the summer and you know got rid of a bunch of dyes that I did not want anymore so um, but I do have a lot more dyes than stamps so I'll, it'll take me a little bit to get those done and I did want to say that I'm I have not um, I'm not gonna put these that I I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna put these in envelopes I'm still using my close to my heart for these type of stamps you know the little clear ones so okay so there's that sorry if I bored ya but um I did want to show you that I actually did some coloring with water color pencils and zig on this calendar that my friend did I started working on the January but you know it's what the what day is it is it the 21st and so the month's almost gone, right? So I decided to work on February. <laughs> but I have to say, ay ay ay, I don't know how people do these. Look at all those details. That drives my eyes bonkers and my mind. Um, it's, it's just too much for my brain. Now this one won't be so bad. Now the waves might drive me a little crazy, but kudos to anybody that does those coloring books and stuff. That's not my cup of tea for sure. Um, yeah, but I like it. I like how it turned out and everything, and I'll do each month, you know. Um, but anyway, so, all right, from Simon Says Stamp. Oh, no, 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 no. First, I want to share with you my happy mail for my sweet friend, Tess. And I'm going to put Tess's um, Instagram link down below in the description box. Look at this gorgeous card she gave me. It is so beautiful, and it has vellum. A vellum layer, layer and it's got scalloped vellum around so pretty and this hummingbird my husband thought it was gorgeous too it is so beautiful I love it and Tess and I both live in Missouri and so she sent me this card craft stamp of Missouri State greetings from Missouri so I thought that was really cool thank you Tess I don't know if she watches YouTube or not but um, that was so sweet so real quick from Doodle Butts, I have a few, and I have a couple of more orders coming in because you know I told you it was my birthday month, so I'm shopping this month, and then I'm starting my freeze next month. Um, so from Doodle Butts, I picked up a few of my favorite things, and I love Doodle Butts Wa because you order over twenty dollars and it ships for free. And they have been at CHA, so I placed two orders since they've been gone, and they'll ship them as soon as they get home on um, Thursday is what I think they said. So I got the Otterly, what is it, Otterly Love? Yep, Otterly Love You from MFT. And then the um, postage, um, what is it called, the mailbox? And then the abstract heart. And then they gave me, they always give me a little something, and I think that's so sweet. This cute little heart. So, really, really sweet. A lot of little bucks, and I'm going to put my referral link down below, because if you follow that referral link to their store, they will send me some reward points, but they'll send you a coupon code for 10% off your order. So, that's really good. And somebody used my Blitzy referral link the other day, and I got $10 in Blitzy rewards, so that's cool. Okay, Simon's a stamp. I picked up, I was using my Zix the other day, and I was coloring with one of these Prima um, watercolor pens, and the tip is just so big, you know. I could not get, like, into the fine details without smushing it and I was not a happy camper. So I picked up a couple of the H2O brush um, pens with the real, let me show you, let me open it up. Um, really fine tip and Christina Warner uses these, Amy R uses these and see the difference in the tip, how tiny it is. So I, I purchased two of those and I hunted all over and at the time, it seemed like everybody was sold out except for Simon Says Stamp. And I used Simon Says Stamp um, coupon code HEART because it gave, gave me $5 off my order. I picked up these Inkalicious Ink Duster Ink Blending um, brushes. 
They are not new, but I've never seen them on some and six stamp before. And um, they, so I went to the website, to this website, and I really liked the effect they got. Now, that being said, I still love my Clarity um, stencil brushes. I love these, and they're so soft. I say that every time. But oh, it's like type in silk. They're just perfect. But I wanted to try these too to see like the difference. So I'll do a comparison video and show you the difference um, when I get around to it. <laughs> because yeah, with just stuff going on in my life and my health, some days I have good days and other days I don't. And then at Simon Says Stamp, I picked up their Simon Says Stamp, Coffee Tea and Cocoa. Um, I saw, who was that, Laura, Laura Basin, Basson, how do you say her name? She is hilarious, by the way. I watched her video, and I love her. She's such a, she's so fun, but as soon as I saw her, what she made, I went over and I thought, oh, they're probably sold out, but they weren't. So you get a little doodle bud paper there. You get the little sprinkles. Aren't those cute? I love them. You get the stamp set. You get the die. I love it. And see, that little die looks like that little guy when you cut it out. And then you get the ephemera bits, the goodies. Not ephemera, but um, some bling, some stars, and some paper clips from Cute Girl. And did I show you this? Yeah. The, and what is this? Coffee, tea. Coffee and tea. So that's that. And um, I've got a new idea for a little series that I'm going to do. And you guys, please forgive me for, um, you know, like doing videos few and far between. And I, I don't want to harp on this or like feel like I'm whining about this. But for the most part, I am still so tired. It's just the medicine the doctor's given me for my heart. And some days it's just like, ugh, you know, it's. It's just an effort to get up and want to even come in in my room and color. And I know that's silly because normally I'm like the energizer bunny. But um, so I just kind of have to pick and choose my days when I feel better and when I feel good. And those days I'll try to get in here and film some videos. But yeah, I do have a new idea for a video coming up, a video series. So I hope you guys will like it. And I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye now.